All right, welcome back. So with coronavirus spreading, this is a good time to stay healthy, of course. And we've invited health expert Cynthia Thurlow, a functional medicine nurse practitioner, to share easy tips for boosting our immune system against colds and flu viruses. Plus, she's going to show us how we can make our own hand sanitizer. And she joins us now. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So it's really important for us to boost our immune system. And a lot of people think, OK, yeah, I get it. Wash my hands. But what else can I do? Uh, eating foods as simple as that can help, yes. right? Right. And so I always like to I always say everything starts with food. So mm -hmm. looking at highly pigmented fruits and vegetables, there's lots of good examples okay. here um, throughout the table. But what is this? That's actually magnesium flakes to help with sleep. Oh, okay. So you just put it in your bath and you it can, relaxes you? Absolutely. Okay. But things like ginger and garlic are mm -hmm. all down here. Certain specific herbs like oregano, um, rosemary can be very beneficial. We've got lots of dark green leafy vegetables like kale, but you've also got, you know, lots of peppers, um, right. fruits, pomegranates. I had read that there's more vitamin C in one of these Correct. than there is in an orange. Correct. That's amazing to yeah. me, right? So eat more peppers. All right. Absolutely. And then when it comes to drinks and liquids, uh, we want to make sure that we boost our immune system with that. So here's some good ideas uh, here. Really good to stay really well hydrated. So the things that we have here are bone broth, coconut water. We've got um, Fiji water here. Also fermented foods. So these fermented vegetables like cabbages, um, kombucha, which is mm -hmm. a fermented tea, really beneficial. Things like kefir. Um, can all be hugely beneficial as well. Also got some medicinal mushrooms um, up front. Ooh, you brought mushrooms teas. in. Okay. Medicinal mushrooms. <laughs> medicinal like medicinal, medicinal mushrooms, clear. important Let's distinction. Let's talk very quickly about the bone broth because that's a big craze. Mm -hmm. Now, why is that so good for you? It's incredibly nutrient dense. So when those bones break down over time, when you're cooking them, they simmer, you, they, you actually will release the minerals contained in the bones. So it's not just like having chicken broth. I mean, there actually are medicinal properties to that specifically. Always best to make it homemade, but I like this brand kettle. Kettle okay. Fire is a really nice quality burn if you don't have time to make it on your own. Speaking of time, a lot of people just can't, you know, put things together. So a supplement is very easy for yes. them. And you have a whole variety here. So I, walk us through it. I do. I would say the most important thing, most people are vitamin D deficient. D3 is the most su important supplement you can be taking right now to help support D3. immune. D3. Okay. D3. Important distinction. Vitamin D3. And this is actually a liquid formulation, which makes it very bioavailable, very easy to digest. Okay. I also like things like vitamin C. Um, fish oil, you know, most of you are not getting it from fatty fish. You can take a fish oil supplement, even krill oil. Zinc is helpful. Um, I also really like probiotics. And then I've got more medicinal mushrooms because you can't you get enough of You and your mushrooms. Those. I know. Very uh, what beneficial. about B12? People talk a lot about B12. B12, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of data to say that specifically is correlated okay. with um, immunity, but certainly B vitamins are beneficial. You'll actually urinate them out if you take too much on got board. Got it. Um, and I've seen people do these netting yes. pots. They work apparently, but they you say do. it can be as simple as nasal spray. Correct. And that's actually what I recommend, especially if you're traveling, you're on a bus, you're in a car, you're you know on a plane, a really easy way to clean out those nasal passages. Neti pot if you're ready to stake it up to another notch. So that's important because if you've inhaled something Correct, on, and it can help. you know, in this traveling, so right. it helps just flush it out of your system. Right, exactly. All right. So there's been a run on hand sanitizer, right. as you know. Store shelves are wiped clear in many places. Mm -hmm. So you're going to show us how to make it at home if we Correct. need. And so I always say CDC guidelines are wash your hands first, happy birthday. I know yeah. no one wants to have to sing happy birthday. Then those, you know, those pre-made hand sanitizers are great. Can't find those because who can find them right now? <laughs> um, so this is actually made with aloe vera gel. It's three Three tablespoons of aloe vera gel okay. that you just portion out. Um, and you can buy this at any like Walgreens right. or yep. drugstore? Yep, you can find okay. them pretty easily. And then isopropyl rubbing alcohol, really easy. One okay. tablespoon, you mix that together. Uh, and then I have half of a teaspoon of vitamin E, so it helps kind of keep everything together. And mm -hmm. then really the key um, is to use these are, I have tea tree oil, so you can use 20 drops of tea tree oil, mm -hmm. uh, and then you actually use 10 drops of lavender oil. And so there are actually antimicrobial properties in, in, those. in those as well. Okay. So really good way. So you just drop them in, you mix them up, mm -hmm. um, and then you can put them in a little container that you can carry in your purse or in your car, it's anywhere that's convenient. That. But you have to be careful to do it exactly correctly, correct. because if not, you can burn yourself, right? Right. And so you, so a lot of, that's why I always recommend you don't ingest essential oils. So, mm -hmm. you know, these are typically not hot oils, but something like peppermint oil would be a hot oil, meaning it can be a little caustic to the skin. Um, but this is something we're using on our hands. And if you use it as directed in that 
little recipe we put together. It should definitely help protect It seems you. very easy. One quick question. We're supposed to wash our hands frequently, mm -hmm. use hand sanitizers. Eventually, your hands are going to get dry. dry. Yes. Is there something that you can recommend for that? Yeah, so there's actually a product by the same company that makes um, the silver soap and the silver lozenges that actually has silver in it, but mm -hmm. is also very moisturizing. So okay. another option if you need to moisturize on the go that it has Good to antimicrobial know. properties as Great well. Great ideas for keeping us healthy and safe as we combat this coronavirus situation. Thank you for joining us. Thanks we really appreciate it.